Let's get right into this. We don't know what to expect. I'm asking for the energy for today, February the 1st, the Chinese Lunar New Year. Um, also, the Aquarian New Moon. It just passed or it's just about to pass. Peak around 1226. Maybe you check your area. Up here. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on. I feel like this message is definitely a combination. Now, today we're coming up heavy with kind of a love situation here, possibly. We'll see what's happening. The present power. So this is about someone having control of their thoughts now. They're not worrying about the future too much. They're not too focused on the past. They're very balanced here. And what I get is in someone's balance, they finally have gotten a chance to take a look at what they are about to lose. Taking steps. I love this card so much. I love this dress. It's one of my favorite dresses in any tarot deck. But this woman is literally walking on a new path, honoring herself, looking amazing while she does it. Confidence is radiating from her, even though we cannot see her face. And she is going to something big. That's all I'm going to say. It could be anything. But this woman is going to something big. And this man is finally balanced enough to realize what's walking away from him right before his very eyes. I see commitment at the bottom, and I do feel that someone ran away from a commitment or chose not to be in a commitment or chose to stay in a different um, commitment. But look at that, right behind the commitment is the travel. You may have not waited for someone to commit to you and you may have said, that's it, I'm gone. And then guess what? This person balanced themselves out here, okay? They're not worried so much. What if this happens? What if that happens? Look at the past, everything that's happened to me. But it may be a little too late because you've started the process to move forward, okay? And I think this was a long time coming because this woman didn't just get dressed up like this in a matter of minutes or seconds. Her hair is done. She's feeling great. She's looking great. Like, you've worked on yourself, okay? It took some time, but this person finally saw your light and probably too late, to be honest, Whoa, it's a strong message today, okay? Look at that. Look at this. The King of Pentacles is watching the Fool card, someone going for a new beginning, walk away. Someone they didn't make a move for, someone they're finally realizing is a very valuable asset to them. Now, this can be applied to a job for sure. You could have a masculine energy or a boss, man or woman, who chose not to commit to you in business and now because they were going through their own thing, they're finally like, whoa, they're not too bad, actually. They're probably the best choice I could have had. Hmm, what did I miss out on here, right? I see that this person was in a dark space for a while as well, as many of us have been. We've all had to go through that time where we had to balance ourselves out and stop worrying about the future and stop stressing about stuff that already happened because it's done. The past is over, right? So we definitely have a strong masculine presence today energetically um, at the least and physically at the most. And this can be someone that you work with. This can be someone um, that you're in love with, okay? But this person sees they made some sort of a, a, a bad decision, a bad choice, um, in a sense, because I'm not saying this isn't going to happen, but you've walked away by the looks of it. Let's see what else is going on here today. So you're focused on you, okay? And I guess that today's message is to let you know, while you're focused on you, you have someone who cannot stop thinking about you. Moon card, I'm seeing the rest card, which means this person is thinking about you at night. And I'm seeing the nine of wands that came out. I think someone is heavily regretting that they did not commit to you when they had a chance, that they did not ask you to join their business, their work, whatever it may have been, their life, when they had a chance. And now you're on like a level 11 out of 10, okay? You're doing amazing. Why would you turn around, to be honest? Why would you turn around? Because I'm going to tell you sometimes the love of your life or the person you love so much that got you to this beautiful position for some reason, they can hold you back. And it's not that they try to. It's because as human beings, we can let our heart energy and our mind energy run away with us when we're in love. And when we're not in that love energy, we are successful at everything else we put our energy towards. It is what it is, guys. I mean, 
I can't help it. I'm a hypocrite. I can't tell you not to be in love, okay? Because I love love personally. And I'd probably choose it over most things. But then there comes a time when you're either getting a bit older, a bit mature, a bit more realization comes to you that love can actually hinder your growth. It can, guys. I'm not being mean about it. I still love love. Um, but if you let it take you away, I just saw the justice card there. I mean, it can really affect you. So here we go. You've decided to focus on work because that's what happened. When you were involved in the love situation, when you were entangled with all of the messy, uh, deceptive energy, this person that's in and out that didn't know what they wanted, wasn't making up their mind about a love situation. When you're involved in that, it takes your energy. It turns you kind of stagnant. And I'm not going to say into a, a dark void, but it is. Sometimes you don't see anyone around you. You don't see all the friends you have around you because you're so focused on that person that hurt you or that third party situation that you can't wrap your head around, right? Anyways, look at that. It's so beautiful. Here she's even stepping up onto a level of steps, like walking up the steps. Here, this person has stepped up. And guess what they're doing? They're focusing on their skills. They're focusing on things that are going to get them places. Even if it has to do with spirituality, body, mind, and soul, you know, if it's not work, let's just say like actual physical labor or physical work, you're still fixing things up in your life personally. And I feel like it could be very spiritual for many of you. Um, it could be both, right? It could be physically and spiritually. But this is all about work. And this is about people seeing you. These two men over here, I mean, that could be this man talking to their partner about you. Like, wow, we lost a good one. That could be this man talking about you to his friend saying, do you see what she's done? Have a beautiful energy today. And the thing that I love the most about it is that you're not even paying attention to what's going on around you. The only thing you're doing, this is at the top, which is like the most important card for me here. This is about you focusing on your goals and getting what you want, okay? You're not just going to give your energe energy frivolously, okay? So that's amazing. I don't know why I pulled this card. It's my clarification deck. There's no need to clarif clarify anything here. Um, but sure, let's see what's going on with that King of Pentacles. Let's see, mister. Let's see, look at that. And I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles here. And the Death card. It's a, it's touching my heart chakra here, okay? Because you have someone that finally realizes your value. And like, I'm not saying value like you, you, you know, monetarily. Like as a human being, you are a great person. And this person is real. You have a lot of power. They may have taken your power or stripped it, or you may have given it to them because you were so focused on love, right? Um, but this person's like, damn, I messed up leaving my six of cups. Whether it was to go to family, whether it was to go to money or other obligations, this person is realizing that if they want you, first of all, they're going to have to come back to you because you're not there. You're done. That's what it looks like here, right? And I'm just saying that because in the two of cups, the man is taking the step towards the woman. Okay, if it's a man, woman, whoever. But someone's taking a step towards this beautiful goddess, and that's you. Okay? It's Whatever the situation is, I do think that it is over in the sense that it has come to a full ending. And that's what had to happen for this person to wake the F up. But I also feel, I just want to say this. Uh, I can't see that card. I'm not going to get it. But I also um, feel that this person was actually in a dark spot of their own. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there. So what is our other messages we're getting? So we have springtime. Um, for me, I'm giving this message to you. Come springtime, you're going to be blossoming in new beginnings. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. This is for you, my loves. You have taken the step and you are being blessed, okay? Let's get into the other cards that we normally use here. I'm seeing the Queen of the Moon. Very powerful card there, just slipped out. And I'm also seeing at the top, I got to mention it, seeing that Queen of the Moon, spiritual teacher. This whole situation was a huge spiritual lesson for you, okay? I got to say it. So we have beauty. My cards are in reverse here. You're realizing how beauty, be beautiful, how beautiful you actually are. 
Wow, it's such a nice picture. You can't see it. Sorry, I'm getting lost in it. Maybe you can kind of see it. It's just imagery of flowers creating a face, right? I think you're very smart as well, but you're possibly like putting your beauty first again, okay? Maybe you forgot about how beautiful you are. Let's see what else we have here. And surrender, number 26. That's all part of that higher spiritual lesson, learning that you cannot control every single thing going on in your life. You can do your best to intend it goes a certain way, um, but surrendering is actually the key ingredient to life. Surrender to certain things. You got to pick and choose your battles, right? And let's get a message from the universe for you, and then I'll get an angel answer card. This message is so beautiful. This reading's a bit longer than the usual daily readings, but it's worth it. Swan and Grace, and this is, trust me, this is your message here, okay? You who glide across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. <laughs> I love it when the messages uh, connect, right? But this is about just being happy, beautiful. And look at here, this, this beautiful swan is being watched by this one. And I'm just going to say it, at the bottom of the deck we have the hawk. And this is telling me you are being watched by this person that is realizing their loss. Unfortunately, um, that's up to you, right? Listen to your intuition, always. So you can ask a question. This will be the final card here for the message. Um, there's two. I'll take them because... You can decide which one is for you. So we have reconsider and compromise, okay? Um, it's up to you totally, but I think fairness and balance is important. And I think that you might be considering this person. You might be willing to compromise. I'm not going to suggest that, but I'm giving you the messages from the cards, okay? Because you're doing so well. You're looking so beautiful. Why should you compromise anymore? But I mean, in life, sometimes we do have to compromise naturally, okay? So thank you so much for being here. Let me know if this is your message. Just leave a comment and you'd be surprised. I'm actually giving bonus card polls to people that have commented. Let me know if I've already given you one as well. Bye for now. Thank you so much.